All right guys, so today I'm going to show you how to do another uh, maintenance on the uh, 2010 sorry, um, E350 Mercedes, no, commonly known as the W212. Um, so today we're going to do the uh, air filter replacement and it's actually pretty easy. All right, so this is the filter. Um, just your standard 3698 man filter, got it from Amazon. And what I'll do is I'll link it also in the uh, description below. Um, and then, so this is a continuation on maintenance on this car. So I believe uh, I did a video on replacing the, um, what is it, the cabin um, fan assembly. Um, I'll link that video in the descriptions if you want, if you're curious to see that video. So what we have to do is remove this this cover here. This one covers um, this this piece here actually uh, comes out. Just pulling it. So we'll set that aside. You're probably going to want to remove the plenums here, and it's just a little clip here. We'll probably clean that up, it's a little dusty. And if you guys are curious, this is the uh, oil filter. Uh, on the Mercedes it's on top which actually makes it a lot easier it's not as messy and then obviously this is where you fill the oil okay I believe you just yank this on top and there's a clip here hopefully you can see that um, and you just push it out and then this should just lift right up and it's all held by just like little clips So your filters are located here and here, and that's just um, looks like a Torx. So we'll go ahead and get that going. But before we do that, I'll set this aside, and uh, I'm just gonna look around here, maybe uh, clean up a little bit. It's a bit dusty. What I'll do is I'll take you in close. So as you can see, it's a little dusty. So I'll just wipe some stuff down here. Make sure I'll cover that. You don't want any uh, dust going in there. So I wanted to show you guys something here. Zoom you out here. So this is some of the things I'm gonna need to do later on. So right there you'll see three um, uh, spark plugs and your uh, coil pack. And another three there, so it's a six, V6. And um, so I'll eventually replace these. And then uh, also replace the spark plugs, part of the maintenance that I'm gonna be doing. All right, guys, so there's uh, one, one, two, three, four Torx screws, and the Torx is uh, T25. And so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and remove this, this, and um, replace the filter. And you can see 
of sticky. This is why you need to change your filter. Uh, it's actually not too bad. Um, so what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, replace the other one, clean it up a bit, and then uh, put it back in the car. Okay, so I cleaned it up a bit, and so now we're going to install the filter. Brand new. And they just lie in there. In there. It's actually best if you insert the filter on here because you need to get this little rubber gasket in between the plastic so it seats in and then when you put it in here it sits nice and, and flush. Go ahead and screw that. <clears throat> okay, one down, one to go. See, as you can see, you just need to push it down so that it's nice and in there and when you put it in here it just falls into place and I missed one screw here so That's pretty much it. I forget to put this holes back in. Don't forget your plenums. And I think the best way to do this is to put this one in first. Put the final piece. Put 
That does it for the air filter. Hope that helps you guys. See ya.